Well, today, hundreds of women came out to Little Caesars Arena, not to root for a team, but to root for each other. The Detroit Go Red for Women luncheon wants to help prevent women from dying from heart disease, and I was honored to serve as MC for this inspiring event. It was a sea of red trying to create a wave of change. Our hope is that you leave this event today ready to be an agent of change for women. With leaders urging women to take the lead in saving their own lives. 45% of women 20 years or older are living with some form of cardiovascular disease. And these numbers won't go down unless we continue to work together to raise awareness and ensure that every woman has the resources as and is empowered to build a healthier lifestyle. A message echoed by survivors such as Cindy Suave from Plymouth. You can be healthy one day and in the blink of an eye it can change. So I think the most important thing is to listen to your body. If something doesn't feel right, you know, get it checked out. For the event co-chairs, the fight also hits home. Deborah Greenman lost her father to a stroke. Once folks leave here, it's not just a one and done. They'll go out and they will educate and they will let people know about heart attacks and about stroke symptoms. Paula Silver lost her mother to heart disease. If I can break that trend of heart disease, and my daughter can break it. We can get, you know, the next generation of women, they're even coming up behind us to truly reverse the trend, then we win. But for too long, heart disease has been stealing the women from our lives, and we gotta stop it. Yeah, it was a great, great event. Lots of inspiring stories. And one of the themes echoed by today uh, was that women need to stop taking care of everyone except themselves. Uh, see your doctor, learn your family history, and then take action. Make healthy changes so you can be there for your family for years to come. And that often happens. We as women, we want to take care of everything and family. everybody else, exactly, yeah. and we kind of neglect ourselves. So, so often. That's exactly what so many moms do, yeah.